it is a bit of a treat because there's sugar in this, but I'm going to explain about that as I go along. But okay. this is a flour free, so therefore gluten free. Okay. Um, and also flour can bloat you quite a bit, even if you're not allergic to gluten. So it's a really lovely alternative. And I want you to bear with me because it will sound a bit strange, but trust me, it's gorgeous and it's perfect every time. You really can't go wrong. All right. So I've got a tin of cannellini beans here. I was calling them cannelloni beans, which would be like... <laughs> No, that would be awful. That wouldn't yeah. work at all. So I've already drained these, and you do need a food processor for this. Yeah. So you just pop these in. Now, these are high in fiber, high in protein, all jam-packed full of goodness. So that's mm. really good for you. And then we're going to pop a couple of eggs in there. Okay. And then this is just going to whiz up, which I'm going to show you really quickly. Um, it does help if you've got one of these food processors. Could you do it with a hand blender as well? You could, though? absolutely, yeah. you could, yeah. yes. And you could really, if you just had a hand whizzer, that, that would do it perfectly well. I'm not going to whiz it for too long in here because of the noise, but the sort of consistency you're going for is this, a sort of smooth, creamy consistency. Mm. I know that doesn't look too appetising, Fiona. I think it does, do actually. It does? Yeah, it looks like, you know, you've made a cake mix, actually. Well, it doesn't it's, look too it's different. Getting, and you can mm. see why that's adding some of the bulk. Yeah, that the flour. Uh, the fibre, exactly. Yeah. Then into there, this couldn't be easier, three eggs, and I've got some applesauce here. Now, this is instead of butter. Okay. So here, all you do is, it's all, um, on the website how to do it but you just cook some apples away with some water in the microwave really quickly and that makes apple sauce and that's a oh. great alternative to butter in a lot of uh, cakes mm -hmm. we've then got three tablespoons of vegetable oil okay that's gonna go in any vegetable oil just any you you want yeah. one that's not too strong flavored so when I'm cooking savory food I always use olive oil, oil extra oil. virgin yeah. olive oil but this you just need a normal sunflower okay. vegetable oil okay. uh, we're doing one tablespoon tablespoon of vanilla extract mm. so that's kind of your liquid going in and then in here I've got chocolate powder five tablespoons of it I've already measured that out oh, right. I was wondering how um, you were guessing don't worry I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> not that clever and one teaspoon of baking powder um, and then you're just literally going to mix these together. Now, the final thing that I'm going to add into here is sugar. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on in the press about sugar at the moment and I have a very definite philosophy about that. I don't believe any food should be demonised at all. It is all about balance. Mm. That's a fair amount of sugar that's, that's going into this cake. This cake will feed 16. Okay. So, but you can always balance. use uh, the, 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 the substitutes like xylitol and that sort of yeah. stuff anyway, couldn't there you? Are, absolutely, there are. But I prefer to stick with natural mm. um, yeah. and understand what I'm eating and mm. why I'm eating it. And on the Bikini Promise, we talk about balance and eating natural and eating fresh. Sugar shouldn't be demonised. In the same way, if you um, eat only broccoli, you're going to end up very poorly yeah. and unwell yeah. and if you eat only sugar you're going to yeah. end up so sugar you really need to watch the quantities yeah. so we're going to talk about the portion size and when we serve okay. this up so but as you say that's the same with everything everything Absolutely. in moderation then we'd all be fine wouldn't we that's so. exactly what it is mm. and especially on the bikini promise it is about meal matching and it's um it's about eating healthily for life mm. so i cannot live without chocolate cake in my life that's not going to happen and so this is a way i've cut down on the flour it's still got the sugar in but i'm going to serve it with some low fat dairy and some fresh fruit and this is then a cake that you can enjoy Ooh. but just have a slice of it and go for a longer walk afterwards exactly you know that's what it's all about it's not about cutting out anything at all Right, so this I'm just going to pop into a line tin and I always read recipes and think, oh, a line tin, I'm not going to bother doing that, can't be bothered. But yeah. please do with this because it will come out so much easier. You do need yeah. to line the tin with okay. this. And then that's going to pop into the oven. Um, but first of all, I'm going to pop some foil over it because you don't want this to go too dark. Mm -hmm. You need this covered. And this is then going to go into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. And you'll know it's done when you enter a skewer into the middle of the cake and it yeah. comes out clean. 